What's up, locker nuts? I am excited to be here. Are you guys excited to be here? Let's get started. Mmm. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. It's either 100 to 200. And, and look at this. We got tons of them. And then look at, oh my goodness. And then look, oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Kato, 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 Kato. Kato. More Kato's. Oh, geez, these Kato's too. There's all kinds of funk going on. Oh, there's a spider right there too. Rat poop. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Oh, this one's really heavy. And again, look at this, like, breaking right here, basically, where it was leaning off. The weight was crushing it and cracked it. Oh, 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 what? Probably the best bin in this entire locker so far. And you know we've had some doozies. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I am stunned right now. I'm stunned, and I am not uh, exaggerating. Let me show you why. What's up, Locker Nuts? Are you ready for another adventure? It's Locker time. We're back at the train unit. It's been a little while because I, well, the family and I went to Disneyland. That's where I got this new shirt. And we took a few days off and had a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we didn't dig through lockers. We didn't edit or release videos. But now we're back. All right, so let's get in there and see what we find. Hopefully some more good stuff. like Camille and I left it last time. All right, guys, here we are. All right, I just cleared the table. Those have those large uh, action figures, and I'm bringing those home. Those are going to go into our live auction this next week. So just going back here, this stuff has all been gone through pretty much. We still have this a little bit up here, a little bit up here, and this right here. And I think this is where I'm going to start working right here and uh, pull stuff out. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not talk about it. Let's just do it. I am excited to be here. Are you guys excited to be here? Let's get started. All right, let's start with this. Oh, it's a little dark here, but we're going to start with this guy. And this is pretty heavy. I did want to note that the side's all cracked open. Um, mm, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, I see why it's so heavy. We got some light here to work, and dang, you guys, this is more end scale, I think. And I see these Kato's. Oh, 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 this is really good. This is exceptionally good. Honestly, I've been listing these. So the last, let's see, two episodes ago, if you saw that episode, I came with my father-in-law and we went through same area, the bins that were on top of this and scale. And I've been listing this stuff. And this was, this is probably, I don't know. It's either 100 to 200, somewhere between 100 and 200. That's been the range. And, and look at this. we got tons of them. And then look at, oh my goodness. And then look, oh, yeah. oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. First, let me clean the surface here. It's been a while, so let me give it a good wipe down, get it nice and clean. Oh. Okay, man, I didn't know if I wanted to really start on this one. This looks like an exceptional box. Th those kinds of boxes I like to take home, but I don't think I'm taking anything home today. Uh, Kato 106501, 5013, and, huh, this is different. 106 1002 they look similar the paint markings on them look similar but they are different oh man look at this 163501 this is fantastic you guys really this stuff is selling uh, like hotcakes really on my ebay store you see this one brand new was 169 dollars some of these have gone up in value some have not gone up but they're not far from that like i'd say that might be 150 bucks at the lowest all right i just had to pull a new bin this one's this one's too heavy part of the reason why <laughs> it's like totally just busting out you know at the seams quite literally so i'm gonna put these at least some of them lighten the load and put some of them in this clean little bin right here. It's not gonna hold very much, but at least we can get them uh, a little better protected. All right, look at this, more of this stuff. 106, 1011, 1201. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these. There's too many, and I love that about it, but I think it'd be too boring. Those are all passenger cars, I believe. Now here, we got some locomotives. Now these are, again, between 100 to 200 bucks, and I'm thinking closer to 200. That's another really good find. And here's some more locomotives, Cato. 176, 5607, and 5605. Yeah, I can hear it in my head. Cha ching, cha ching. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Now, these right here. Um, 
not keto this is something different red caboose is that the name of the manufacturer i don't think we found these before it's in scale red caboose rm19003-9 so it's 35 bucks on sale okay so those aren't going to be as expensive but really those are nice a lot of detail i'm sure they'll sell n scales for some reason i said this a lot in the last episode but n scale has been like really hot sellers lately this one concor all right concor 85710 85710 got two of the same that was a little different so those are a little bit different again i think those are a little bit lower priced this kato stuff's good money though look at this guy gunderson twin stack 151401 look at that so it's such a long box, it's funny. Okay, here's a little Concor 01-3854. I wonder what this looks like. I don't think we found too much Concor N scale. We have found plenty of Concor HO scale. Nice. Ooh, that's a locomotive. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting excited because this these really are great finds right here. I've also said this many times before in this dig. Oh, look at that's 300 bucks brand new. Um, I'll flash on the screen what it's worth now so you guys can see. But uh, what I've said many times before in this locker, this one bin would have made an entire locker. Like if I had an entire locker of garbage and I found this one bin, I'd consider that a successful locker just because of this. This is that good. One bin. A couple more of those Kato's. Oh, this is more of the super cheap ones. Oh, I hope that's super cheap something good. I've not seen that before. There's another one. I right, got some instructions here. Oh, it looks like a map of Tokyo or something with the rail lines. How cool is that? All right, now these right here, these Kato sets, these are big money. Like I, we sold one in our live auction on Monday for 200 bucks, and I have another one I listed on eBay last night for 250 bucks. Doesn't look a lot different than this. It's pretty much what these are. They're Japanese uh, railways, replicas. And I think Kato's a Japanese manufacturer. Very, very collectible, very expensive. So this one right here is 10-162. We got a difference, 10-453 and 10-327. This is good, good money. And there's more. Man. More. Jeez, look at this. All right. Oh, we've got a couple of the same 10-382s two of those we're not gonna look too hard at each one here's a bunch of atherin also really good money on that i mean look at the size of this box right here cost 25 dollars brand new i would not be surprised if this one sells for 40 50 60 bucks it's number 10148 and this one you know it's good because it's heavy atherin 10018 a little locomotive Ooh, this one also this is an atlas N scale locomotive Amtrak 48843. Woohoo! Or maybe, yeah, 2052 is the car number. Oh, dang, this is good stuff. Guys, this is so good. I'm not trying to be like, you know, overly dramatic or anything. This really is that good. Ah, oh, that one got boogered up. That's too bad. It wasn't packed all that great. That's another 10 382. Not quite a few of those. At least three. It's another Athern set. And, oh man, here's a little Cato locomotive 176 2211. And there's another, what is this? Micro trains. I think we found that. I'm not sure that we haven't found very many of them. Union Pacific, there's the number. Probably some decent cashola. Oh, okay, look at this. Kato bubble wrapped. Uh, if you can see through there, it's like a red, I think a passenger car, like a railway, electric railway. Yeah, it looks like it's an electric one. Cool. Look at this, you guys. Kato, 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 Kato. Kato. More Katos. Oh, geez, these Katos too. I'm in Kato heaven. <laughs> Actually, I'm in eBay heaven because this stuff has been selling so good on my eBay store. Okay, we actually pretty much filled that up. Uh, I got another bin down here. I'll grab that. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> I keep saying, look at this, look at this, look at this, because everything is just, uh, man, it's so exciting. This is another little Kato right here. I don't see the model number on there. That's odd. Usually they're very, very easy to find. Well, there's a few more Kato's right there. This one's heavy. That's a Bachman. It's a heavy little car right there. Looks like a cable car almost. Trolley. Yellow Brill Trolley. 61098 on that. We'll have to look that up. Look at this Kato. Dang. That's a $92 price tag on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's gone up. 1764102. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Here's another one. 1767214. Another locomotive right there. All right, this is just overkill, right? I mean, what am I gonna do? Flash a thousand prices on the screen? I mean, what are you, <laughs> it's all worthy, but we gotta move it. I, mean, I could probably do a whole video on this one stinking 
box. Look at this Gunderson Maxi Stack 3. That's kind of, that's that's a little different too. 210201. I don't know, we'll look that up. We got three of those Gunderson ones. That's different. One minute. Look at this. Okay. Kato Unitrack. I don't know about this. I don't, I think we may have found one before, but I really don't know about value. And then we got a bunch of uh, little pieces of track here. And then a bunch of these cargo containers. And still, this is good stuff. I mean, none of it's like, I don't think, huge, huge value. But I have found some of those that are like 25, 30, 35 each. So that could add up. This could add up. This is 114 new. That's at least 75. And then look at this right here. Trix. Trix has been really nice money. It's made by Marklin. It's like the American version of Marklin trains. Uh, yeah. That's going to be some money right there. So 11605, we'll look that up. You guys will know. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point, but uh, I try to get you guys the information because I know it's fun to watch and learn. Okay, I just added up uh, these right here, and I have this size box with the four cars, 23. So remember what I said, I had um, 100 to 200 on these, nothing less than 100. I'm listing these for in the range of 100 to 200. Some, some of them are more rare, so they're hitting the 200s. 23 of those, that's at least 2,300 bucks, and it might be closer to three to 4,000. Let's just say three on these size, okay? Now these ones right here, these are, I'm listing them, I'm seeing 150 to 250 on these bigger, large sets, okay? And we've got one, two, we got 15 of those okay so what i say on those 150 to 250 so let's just say 200 that's three grand guys oh my goodness this is starting to hit me okay uh the other one we said 2300 to 4000 let's just say 3000 like an average right so we got three on that three thousand on these ones and then we got all these wait that's six thousand already what the heck then we got all these these um that's not a locomotive but the locomotives i've been seeing eh, sometimes they're 75 but not usually and sometimes they're as much as 200 so why don't we just say 100 bucks each on these and we've got i think we got 17 there might be some on the bottom that aren't locomotives i may have got them a little mixed up but i think there's about 17 just say 1500 bucks there and then we've got all this <laughs> and all this what the heck that's 7500 bucks plus all this that's that's a eight to nine thousand dollar bin is, is that right am i wow it's just sinking in one bin eight to nine thousand okay we've hit bins before that were much more than that we had the brass train one in two bins i think we had 35 grand in brass trains but still that it could be worth a little less, could be worth a little more, but I think we're coming pretty, pretty close. I'm going to get these listed, though. I'm going to get them listed. This is exciting. Good start. Good start. Oop, I just realized there's a few more locomotives in there. One, two, three, four, and then double-decker there, which are usually 200 bucks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're we're going to come in just fine on this one. Okay, well, that was a good start. Good start. Good start. Oh, boy, it's so dark back here. Every time I come back, I get blinded. And I think you guys are probably struggling with it too. I lighten the screen when I go in the dark corners in my editing program. All right, this one's marked planes. Oh man, I see some good stuff. I see models. I see more of those um, die cast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this. I just kicked that. And that is a Cato locomotive, probably a hundred to 200 bucks, just sitting on the floor because it fell out of the broken tub because the tub was cracked. Crazy. It's a hundred dollar bill just laying on the ground okay you know a little change of plans instead of going through this stuff because this, this is this is actually turning into a really good aisle i'm gonna switch it up and go up here because i'm gonna go to the flea market pretty soon maybe tomorrow and oh there's all the rat poop that camille's freaking out about <clears throat> that's funny that was a funny i loved her reaction on that what's this video cassette recorder oh no it's not no it's not okay let's see what's in here Ooh, that's a dirty box. Yikes. Okay, and we have track galore. Look at all that track. You got some rat poop too, but uh, that looks like some pretty nice track too. Oh, right here, it's Marklin. Oh my, made in West Germany. 51001 slash one. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Mm, this is gonna be some money right here because there's just so much of it. Look at all these little pieces. What's that? Oh man, that's a car that got totally melted. Huh. That was random. Maybe a set that was disassembled. That could be. So, what do we do with this? First, we can wipe some of the disgustingness off of it. All right. Ugh, gross. Then this, I think we're going to put... Well, we're definitely going to put it back. It's not like I'm like, oh, let me see. Mm -hmm. 
No, we're definitely putting it back because uh, I just don't have time to deal with that kind of stuff right now. So uh, we did look at this before and that thing's, that's more of a shipwreck at this point. Uh, the model that they had put together and it was already coming apart and I don't think I've done it any favors. This is, uh, it's an old stove. Yeah, Ooh, looks like it's in good shape though. Hmm, is there money in these vintage stoves? I do not know. And I think that one's going to the flea market. Let's see what's in these ones. Whoa, that's gross. Oh, that is gross, see that? There's all kinds of funk going on. Oh, there's a spider right there too. Spiders, rat poop, yucky, yucky, yucky. Mm -mm, sorry, spider. Wait. It does feel like there's something in these though. Mm-hmm, there is. Oh, what is this? It almost looks like a nutcracker. I think it is. Okay, you know what's kind of funny is the last time we had a train locker, uh, we found in a couple of really expensive nutcrackers in the train, in the, in the guy's collection. I don't know, what is it about train collectors and nutcrackers? What's up, locker nut? Need your nuts crack? Okay, that's silly. Let's see though. Is this something special or is this something that's not special? Uh, manufactured by Orchard Supply and made in China. I would say that is not special. Whoops. Not special at all. Okay. He might be cool, but he's not special. No offense there, Nutcracker, but I'm not impressed. Hopefully there's no black widows in here. That would not be cool. All right, we got a pair of these knuckleheads. Okay, so. Okay, let's go up here. And, oh, there's a big model up here. North Cormorant, it's Revel 08803. Yeah, it's really dusty, but at least there's no rat poop on it. Um, that is a big model. It's got some weight. Most of the parts are out of plastic, so when they got weight, you know there's a lot of things in there. Plastic doesn't add up very fast. Okay, this is, oh, this is terrific. It is sealed. That's really, really good. Okay, we'll look up the value on that. Mm, cleans up pretty good. Okay, next box. Helljan, I think that is good. Helljan makes, I think, military stuff, or is it planes? I forget. Ooh, that's sealed. Ooh, this is kind of embarrassing, guys, but I don't have my knife on me. Why? Because I took it off when we went to Disneyland. Because it goes through security so many times. And I forgot to put it on. Oh, well, that tape was obviously ready to come off. It almost jumped off. Helljan, okay, what? What is this? Whoa, what is this? Container terminal, it says. Helljan container terminal. What is this? It's number 89001. Maybe I can get on the screen here what this is. What the value is anyways. What the heck? What is this? I still don't have any clue what this is. Oh, it's definitely a miniature. Okay, I see a little staircase there. Um, it's got this remote control right here. Control pad. Is this some sort of a... Oh! Okay, this is the things that pick the, the containers off of the ships at dock and move them over onto the trucks. Oh, that is really cool. I think this is going to be... Oh, there we go, right here. And we have all those little containers too. I wonder what scale this is. Great, 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 great. And I see another uh, another box up there too. It might be another one. This could be some significant value right here. And we got the shipping box. So I don't have to worry about finding a box that's in it. Okay, guys, I was just really curious about that. I was really curious, right? So I put it in the eBay... I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. And it sold for $1,800, best offer accepted. Oh, here's another one, and this is pre-owned, $1,199, best offer accepted. So only two sold in the last 90 days. The brand new one was asking a lot more. Um, don't know what the offer was, but I know there's none available anywhere in the world right as of now, I believe. I searched for it. I came up with nothing, so I'll do more work when I get home. That's going in the car, guys. That's going to go in the car. That's a good find. Oh. Look at that guys <laughs> there's another one there's another one oh yes oh uh, that sounded heavy i hope it is sometimes we've been finding two boxes of good stuff like high value items and the second one will be empty like you opened one and took it out and left the other one pristine but that one sounded heavy and that is good hey what <laughs> hey, what what is going on here you got some pieces of wood that looks like pretty nice wood to you um box for detlef's auto display oh look at this so got some of those little ho scale cars we've been selling these uh, and then you got a bus here but the bus is kind of in a wreck state right now i'm not sure what's going on with the bus whoopsie 
wheels of the bus fall on the ground <laughs> just kidding um the display case however it has a crack right here so that's not like yeah look at that it used to plug in but it's cracked that's too bad that's too bad that it fell it broke i'm assuming it fell it's broke it's too bad it's broke i should say look at this knock i've never found a knock yet not in this locker 53008 potentially good potentially oh look at this another knock knock Okay, Oberlitung set. And, oh, it's like a present wrapped up for me. Here's a little bit more wood planking, it says. No, packing. H-O. I don't know. We got a couple more knocks in here. So this one, 53020, 53007. This is H-O-T-O. Those look very similar. Those are very similar pieces. I, I hope these are pretty rare because that would mean they're pretty valuable, right? So, yeah, we'll have to look that up. You guys will know. You'll know before I do. Yeah, I just thought of something too. Let's look at this. The date on the paper is 1999. Uh, it doesn't mean that it was packed in 1999. The paper could have been sitting around or something from before, but it's another little clue, a little shred of evidence of when this thing occurred, this packing, accumulating, abandoning. Okay, guys, check this out. Here's another one. Held down. Tape is obviously ready to come off. It's almost jumping at me. And cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> All right. Yes, at least a thousand dollars. That's what I'm thinking based on those comps. I'll do a lot more research. I can get on work point when I get home and see uh, see more about this item. Okay, this is a, such a neat item. Okay, first of all, let me show you a little video. I pulled this off another YouTube and showed this thing in action. It's so cool. It really does pick up the containers and move them. There's a little light on top that tells you when it's like gripping on or whatever. Such a neat piece. I can see why people want to pay big money for this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Definitely would be a nice addition to your uh, setup, your collection, you know. But here's the thing. So remember, I showed the comp. The most recent brand new one was listed at 1800 Best offer 10 taken so i thought i okay i'm gonna list mine a little bit higher i don't know what that best offer was was it 1500 1600 less more i don't know but i listed mine for 2150 and i only listed one of them and i thought i was pressing the market there and uh apparently not because within tw a little over 24 hours it sold all right so basically i listed it the night i got home after going through the locker and it sold the next night and uh it sold to an international buyer that's very interesting a lot of our stuff's getting bought by international buyers so one item guys one item sold within a day basically i mean it was like 25 26 hours later for big money big money so anyways how exciting is that we got another one on the list and if you thought that was fantastic and probably the best thing we found in this locker <laughs> it's not all right keep watching you'll see We've only got that one bin there and a few up here and we're easily over $10,000 already. That's so crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Look at this. That's crazy. This thing's been sitting for so long. At least the plastic kept it protected from dust and turds. Oh, this is going to be good, though. Marklin 76510 Large Coaling Station. I think this is going to have to go home. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ooh, I think this is going to be some money. Oh, it's $539 brand new. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that's going to be worth some money. Good, 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 good. This is another one. Get out. It's a different number, I think. Oh, uh, I can't remember what the number was that we just looked at, but I think this is a different. Maybe not. It's definitely another cooling station, though. Um, no, it's the same number. That's the same number. We're good. Got two of them. Oh, this has been good up here. I'm liking this. Okay, next box. Oh, okay. We got some uh, buildings. Not my favorite thing to find. Doesn't sell as good as some of the other stuff we find. But come on, I'm not complaining. I'm just making observations and talking about what I know. There's that downtown deco. We've had those before. Got some cornerstone, cornerstone, cornerstone. And Faller's great. Balmer's okay. Uh, bridge crane. Yeah, that's neat. We haven't found one of those yet. That's a good, this is a good, good box. I'm going to put that back in though. We're not going to deal with those right now. We just have way, way too much to list right now. Okay, get this guy down. Hmm, Inner Mountain. Fully assembled HO model. That is super huge for an HO. Uh, this is why. Because it's not a train. It's an IC platform. I think it's some kind of a bridge or something. I don't think it's a train. Um, but yeah, that's that's a little different. Put that up here. 
Okay. And then this is Department 56. Again, really kind of funny because the last train locker we bought, uh, which was before COVID, it was like right before COVID. I mean, it was a, such a lucky locker to get at that time because it kept us busy all through COVID. We unboxed, we listed on eBay. We, it, it, we just spent months working on that unit and it was, it was a great unit. Very profitable, not as profitable as this one, nowhere near, but uh, at the time, our most profitable ever. That guy collected uh, nutcrackers, not many, but a few. Quite a bit of the part 56 and of course trains and women's underwear. It was kind of an odd thing. I don't think we'll find too many guys that have all those in common, but uh, again, the part 56, but this one is the White House. Never found this before. I just had to look at it. I saw it sitting up there before, but oh, that's cool. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh no, this is not the White House, it's Buckingham Palace, okay. Durr, oh boy, I'm gonna get some comments on that. This was $125 brand new, so not super duper expensive. Um, I mean, I would never spend $125 on it, but uh, I'm a cheapo, El Cheapo. But I know some of these cost a lot more. Well, I really thought that was the White House sitting up there. What the heck's wrong with me? But I was looking in the box thinking, eh, it doesn't look like the White House. Because it ain't. Let's get this down right here. Oh, it's light. It's light, and now we see why, because I think it's just boxes. Hang on a sec, no? Ooh, just sold something. Oh no, we got a bid. Look at this, $530 bid, and that's for uh, that thing right there. Obviously not an empty box, not that, but the other one I have at home, which is brand new. $530, just got a bid. Yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. So, this kind of stuff we take out and reuse. We use that for void fill when we ship larger items. This box will eventually go to recycling when I get over there. But this is heavy right here, so what do we got in here? Uh, just cables and stuff. All right, nothing. Yeah, Windows 7. <laughs> All right, we'll take it to the market, but I don't think there's any value there. I wish we had the board that there could be some value there. This one's empty and light, so. Okay. Ooh, I gotta get the uh, broom up here. <laughs> oh, that'll gross. Okay, and we got all those boxes up there we haven't gone through, and those down there, but we're gonna keep working in this area. I wanna try to have this all gone through. Right now, we're getting pretty close. We're getting close, but we're not quite there. We still have that, and then, dang, guys, we'll only have that and that. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo. we're getting close to the end, and that is bittersweet. All right, are you guys gonna be sad when this is over? Are you gonna be missing me? Are you going to still watch me? We used to love me when the train lockers were in. I'm sure we're going to have many more treasures coming ahead and uh, lots of surprises. Don't you guys go anywhere as soon as we're done with this. We're going to we're gonna keep it spicy over here on the Loch Ness Channel. I, I guarantee that. You could take that to the bank. Seriously. I mean, no, not, not seriously. I mean, not the actual bank. But I'm saying uh, we got some surprises coming up. We got some good stuff. We got some stuff in the hopper. Um, this is looking kind of interesting right here. Let's see what I'm seeing? There's a wood box with uncommon strapping. This is not a, a usual packing uh, format that I see. Is it just wood? Is that all this is? Is this just like wood for building stuff? That could be. Uh, yep. Wait. Yes? Wait. It says top. This is not just wood. This has already been cut. See the angles? This is something. <laughs> Yes, I realized after it came out of my mouth that is a really stupid uh, thing. It basically said nothing. But this is, um, this is a display or something. It's a box. It's meant for something. I don't know what. I don't see any paperwork or anything in here. That one's going to remain a mystery for now. I do, not, I do not know. I don't know if that's any value or not. I'm not going to get rid of it so quick. I'm not going to sell it because uh, maybe I'll find other pieces. Actually, there's another box right by it. Let's go see what's in that one. Okay, this one. This one. Came from Kuhn Business Forms and Systems in Marietta, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's more wood. Okay, Panasonic, whatever this is. Let's look that up and get you a price on what exactly this is. Whew, okay. All right, what is it? It says pedestal. What do we got here? Really? <laughs> Seriously, just a big pedestal for a plasma TV. That must be a gigantic TV because this is a gigantic pedestal and it's also very heavy. It doesn't look like it's open. There's the straps to strap it to the wall. All the screws are still in the sealed packet. This looks like it could have been open, but it could also have been shipped that way. We'll look this up. All right, we'll look it up and see if it's got value. If it is, I might take it out and photograph it. 
and put it on eBay. Oh man, it's heavy. Oh, that will not be cheap to ship. Okay, so this we think is another big pirate ship. This one right here. I think it's trains. We peeked in it, I think, twice, but my memory's so bad. I don't I don't know. It is trains and it is good. I have seen the, the trains and I conclude they are good. I see lots of Rokos. Rokos are good money. This Pico right here, I think is gonna be good money. Look at this. I mean, is it light enough in here? Yeah. This one, it's like a soccer scene on it. That's pretty dang cool. There's another one. Um, this one is 52217. I have a feeling this is gonna be some money. It doesn't have a price on it. Purchase price. Uh, beautiful condition though. What else we got here? Got a couple of Rokos right here. 45992. Oh yeah, this is nice. We have some other stuff very similar to this. And I think it's decent money, I think. I can't remember for sure, but I think it's decent money. Look at all of these Rokos. 45992. There's at least three, four, five, six of them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. I have a feeling these are gonna be the same. There's probably like 14 of those. Wait, is that the same as this? Oh there. Same as that one. Okay. That's cool. This, oh, Fleshman. Buthanza Airport Express. Oh, oh, I think this might be some good money. 6350 is the model number. Yeah, it's got a locomotive. Beautiful set right here. What's this one? Roko 43002. This is another beautiful set right here. The Roko stuff is, is pretty nice and it sells pretty good. Uh, this looks like it's older. Look at that box. Roko International. This this could be a um, vintage piece. 04134. All right, and again, beautiful trains. Beautiful. Hmm, $135. So this is a used one. They did have it marked good condition. Um, interesting. The most of the stuff he bought was new. And I can kind of see why because he never ran his stuff. So I think when he was buying a used piece, he probably felt uneasy about never knowing if it was what they represented to him, you know, because he couldn't, he never like ran them, I, I guess. So Marklin Delta 2977A. Okay, getting this one now. Oh, this one's really heavy. And again, look, it is like breaking right here, basically where it was leaning off. The weight was crushing it and cracked it. Uh, this one's very heavy. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Oh, 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 what? Oh, my. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, okay, I am not being, uh, you might be like, Jack, quit overacting. I am not overacting right now. Probably the best bin I've found in this locker. Wait, are you even seeing it? <laughs> I don't know if my camera's off. <sighs> Probably the best bin in this entire locker so far. And you know we've had some doozies. Oh, my goodness, you guys. <sighs> wow. Okay, you guys, I just wanted you to see my face to know that I'm not clowning around. I don't look in these bins before we go through this stuff. I'm really, I feel like I'm uh, like emotionally affected right now. This is uh, so much money in this bin. Th I do not peek in this stuff before. I, I just want you guys to know like, I, I always want to be surprised on camera. If my camera's not working and I open a bin, I'm so ticked off because I don't want to go through it a second time. I don't want to be like, oh, look what I, I can't do it. I can't do it. This, I am stunned right now. I'm stunned and I am not uh, exaggerating. Let me show you why. Okay, so this right here, if you've been watching the videos for a while, you know why I'm excited about this. This is those brass overland trains. Very low circulation or low production, I mean. Low production on these, very valuable. Sometimes up to $1,000, sometimes a little more. Rarely below a few hundred at the very, very lowest, right? We have all of these. The best bin that we found in this entire locker was over here, I think. It was one bin that was stuffed with these. So um, it wasn't this big of a bin. I think it was the size of that green one right there. Smaller, this is actually bigger, I think. So what is this? I don't even know what this is. Fulgurex? Oh, what's this? I don't know, we're gonna find out in a second, okay? But look at all these greens. That's fantastic. But this, this. Micro Medikit. Okay, so if you remember, we found only one of these so far. Didn't even realize what it was. It was in a big bin like this. It had a lot of other good stuff in that bin. A lot of trains. But this one kit, this one set, Micro Medikit, was worth like $27.50, okay? Um, <laughs> not to say it was worth $27.50. I listed it for $27.50 and I sold it. Okay, well, I might be getting my numbers mixed up. Maybe it was $2,500, but it was, it was a ton of money. And it sold 
extremely fast and I had people freaking out because they didn't get it in time. <sighs> okay, remember that? Comes with the white gloves. Um, so funny, it's the only, only set that I found that's like that. Let's just see if we can see it. I'm not gonna dig in here with the hands though. Uh, now we can't see it, it's all wrapped up. Does look like you took it out to look at it because um, it's not packed up like pristine like when it comes from the manufacturer. But what do we got here? What do we got here? This one is uh, art number 05402H. It's number 32 of only 55 of these made. Whoa, okay. And I say like, I listed it and sold it so fast, it was probably worth more than that, right? And the guy who bought it's like, do you have any more? And I'm like, you know what, there's a chance. I just have to go through the rest of this collection. And then look at this. What does that say right there? George Bush, right there, Overland, George Bush. We found one, I think, in the very first episode when Jana came to help me. We found one and we listed it on eBay for 2,500. That hasn't sold yet, but I've gotten a lot of comments about it. Uh, here's another one. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Two of those. Okay, um, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, Let's see then. Wow, it was right there, huh? This box has just been sitting there the whole time. Oh lord, this is amazing. This is something different. Locomotive Ma. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there's art number 03113. Oh, okay. Look at this. It's 2005 number 9 of 10. Okay, we gotta look at this. There's only 10 of these made, and it looks like a nice box. It looks almost like the Medikit box. It looks a lot like the Medikit box. I wouldn't be surprised if they manufactured it for them. No white gloves. Look at this. This is certificate. I think that means certificate. So like basically the COA, I guess. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, I see some Nazi stuff here. Obviously, it's German. It's all written in German. Most of the stuff's made in Germany, but this is actually a German train, a Nazi train. Trying to ease it out, ease it out, because look, they got little pieces like this right here that I got to be very, very gentle with, but check that out. This, I think, is very, very expensive this is going to be a very high value item all right definitely a collector market for it. it's not my thing okay this is uh, the receipts in here is bought in 2006 for two thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars it's a reichbahn reichbahn br18 propaganda micro fine mechanical or something this is uh wow guys so maybe we're going to look up some of these and show on the screen uh, last comps and again these are like not really very relevant because they're gone up in value quite a bit 02801h 04600H, 02804H, and 03100H. So that's one, two, three, four, five of those guys. Five of those at 2,500. We have the two George Bushes. Now I've listed those at 2,500 and it hasn't sold. So um, maybe I, if I lowered it to 2,000, I think I'd sell it. So if we just said 2,000 on those, this one cost 2,800. If we just say 2,000 on it, just to be on the safe side, what are we looking at here? I think we're looking at like 18,500 right here. 18,500 right here. 18,500. I don't think it's so sinking in for me, really. That is not sinking in for me yet. <sighs> then what do we got here? Precision craft models. Okay, this was also bought in 2006. This was 700 brand new. And oh man, I don't know if that's coming out in the camera, but it's another beauty. I don't think I can unwrap it. It's got to be pulled out of a sleeve, but it's another beautiful locomotive. Little coal car, I think that is. Okay, I'll have to look that one up, but cost on up 700. It's probably doing pretty decent on the value. The fact that it's in here with these other very high priced ones, I'm sure it means it's, this is a high priced one. Okay, so what else do we got in here? We got these Broadway series, got some locomotives there. Those are decent. Overland model, little diesel wash rack. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. I don't think those are worth as much. This is gonna be some money right here. It's classic mint, and it's a little truck, uh, dump truck. Item 14009, look at this, there's only 75 of these made. This is gonna be some money. But what I'm also interested in is this right here. Oh yes, okay, so, man, you guys, D11R. Uh, this is number 260 of only 400 funny thing about this right before I left the house We sold one of these uh, these meaning the classic construction models the caterpillars sold them for 900 bucks right before I left the house Actually it's still in my front seat in my van. I got to drop it off at FedEx. This is uh, gonna probably be around that range now this Fulgurex <laughs> This is an N scale I can't help it. I want to see it I know you guys do too. Oh, 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 oh. That is cool. Um, I think this is gonna be a little pricey. 
I'll get that wrapped up a little prettier when I get home. We'll obviously be taking these out a second time to uh, photograph them for eBay. Because this kind of stuff goes on eBay. This has got to go on eBay. Okay guys, so then how many of these overlands we got? I'm not going to count this one because these little ones sometimes aren't as valuable. Maybe 150, 200 bucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 of those, okay? Now the um, locomotives are going to be more expensive than like the, uh, you know, coach and baggage, lounge cars, business car. I do see some other stuff. The locomotives are going to be the most expensive, but let's just say we averaged 500 on those. And I do think that's a fair average. That's 10 grand. So we said we had 18.5 there, and then we got 10 grand there, and then we have all these pieces here that I wasn't counting. That's easily over 30 grand. I'm starting to get a little hush with my tone here because I don't want to. I don't want anyone. If there's anyone at this facility right now, I don't want them to know that we got like totes full of thirty thousand dollars in merchandise. But that's what we've got right here. That is crazy, insane. That is locker nuts, you guys. <laughs> that, that is locker nuts. Holy moly. And you know what the most funny part is that it said right there on the end? Brass. And that was the end that was sticking out and I never even saw it. Um, maybe it's not the most funny part, but I think that is still kind of funny. So I just want to show you what we got left here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six totes. We got this big bad boy, but you know what? I do think this is a ship, so I can't get that out by myself. Um, and this one up here might also be a ship or a big plane or something. I think it's a ship. Uh, maybe Jan will come help me or someone. Maybe Camille or Grace can come help me. Uh, that's a two-man job to get these out correctly because they're in wood crates. But then we have all this here too. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to cut this video a little short. I don't know. Maybe I can get two more videos out of that stuff. It's not like I'm trying to milk videos. I mean, I'll do an hour-long video. Um, I just uh, I got no place to put this stuff right now. My garage is overflowing. We are listing like crazy. We're selling like crazy, but I can only do so much, and I'm not keeping up with it. So uh, that's why I basically like I pace myself and come here once or twice a week. But if we got two more videos, great. If I blow through it in one video, great. It's, so, it's all good. But uh, we will be back here, and then we're we're gonna this thing's gonna come it will come to a close it will come to a close and it will be soon uh but like i said i'm i'm considering going to the flea market tomorrow not with this stuff of course but uh with some other stuff i've got my i've got my personal locker jam full of flea market stuff one of my one of my mini lockers and i've got uh my garage has some stuff so i'm gonna get that stuff loaded and uh maybe get to the flea market we'll take some of this better stuff home that we found today but um if you guys were doing the numbers i try to call it like i see it and i never try to overestimate sometimes I'm off but I do try to come in uh, you know about right maybe on a little bit on the lower side so if that first bin that we found was looking at like nine grand and then that last one that's easily 30 grand I mean I shouldn't say easily I, I confidently think it's 30 grand um, we had the other stuff we had the two items for maybe thousand to fifteen hundred each we had the two Marklin cranes for seven hundred fifty dollars each that's like a 40 over forty thousand dollar day and i barely even did very much oh boy there definitely is better stuff in the back um no i mean actually that's not true there was great stuff in the front i'm just saying we're still finding good stuff even in the back it's crazy it's nuts i love this locker this is going to be the best ever i hope not I hope we find another one like this, but definitely one for the record books, right? Right, right, right. Okay, guys. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm now rambling, and that's when I think I need to wrap it up. So we will be back here soon, maybe even the day after tomorrow if I go to the flea market tomorrow. But I got to get these videos out. I got to get stuff listed on eBay. That means Jack is a busy boy, busy, busy, busy. So um, I'll be back here as soon as we, I can, and you guys will be here with me because that's what we do, right, here on this channel. We go on Storage Locker Adventures together, and it is so fun. All right, well, until next time good luck to you god bless you and we'll see you next time here on locker nuts all right here's the part that maybe you were waiting for here's an update to the numbers the sales all right we are now at 68,000 and climbing daily we're selling stuff like crazy on ebay and that number is going up quick so if you didn't check out our ebay store yet it is called gato deal there's so much great merchandise there over ninety thousand dollars listed and more stuff coming every day